I'm going to teach you the basics of thirds. Thirds are all to do with square roots and doing tricks with square roots. So here are the basics. If you have a number and you square root it and then you square it, you're going to get that original number again. So in this case, if you square root 3 and then you square it, you're going to get 3 because you've undone the square root by squaring it. Here is another example of the same thing written slightly differently. If you square root 5 and then times it by itself, you're going to get 5 because by timesing it by itself, you're squaring it. So, yeah. Here's another trick different to these two. These two are the same. This is a completely different trick. 21 is equal to 7 times 3. So you're allowed to break down the square root of 21 into this into square root of 7 times square root of 3. So if you have two numbers that multiply to make this number, you can break it down into uh, those two parts in this way. Well, I think it's quite simple. But I've got another example anyway. Here in purple, these two lines, I'm breaking down square root of 18 in two different ways. Because 18 can be made up or multiplied, but well, made up of different factors. So you can say 18 equals 6 times 3 or 9 times 2. So you can write both square root of 18 equals square root of 6 times square root of 3. Or if you want, you can write square root of 18 equals square root of 9 times square root of 2. I like the second one better, this one, because square root of 9 is 3. So square root of 9 times square root of 2 becomes 3 times 2. Square root of 2, sorry. So square root of 9 times square root of 2 equals 3 times square root of 2. Now it's not a mistake that I left out the times because as you should know in maths especially in algebra math people or maths people like leaving out the time symbol if they can. I'm usually putting the time symbol in just to keep things simple but at the same time you really need to get used to this way of writing because when we're dealing with thirds that's the normal way of writing things so this is just short for 3 times square root of 2 right let's scroll down a bit more well actually you've got an example in orange here um, we're going to do the opposite of this rule before we were breaking down one square root into two square roots that were equal. Now I'm going to take two square roots to make one square root. When we when we're doing third questions, there's all sorts of things you need to do, so you should be able to do them in different ways. So eight times two is sixteen. So you're allowed to do square root of eight times square root of two equals square root of 16. It's just the opposite of the rule above. And what is the square root of 16? It's 4 and minus 4. But when we're dealing with thirds we only use positive 4. It's basically to keep it simple. So normally if somebody asks you what's the square root of 16, you would say it's 4 and minus 4. This is a quick way of writing 4 and minus 4. It's a plus or minus symbol. But when we're talking about thirds, we get lazy and just write 4.
Let's scroll down to our final example. This is a bit longer. It's combining what we've already learned. Square root of 90, I'm going to break it down into square root of 9 times square root of 10. Why did I pick those two numbers? I could have said um, something like 3 times 30 square root of 3 times square root of 30 but this is better because I know square root of 9 will give me a whole number 3 and it, it's better to have whole numbers than square root symbols if you can I'm going to say use the same trick here I thought what two numbers multiply to make 40 and also when I square root one of those numbers you'll get a whole number. Basically what I'm trying to say in short is what two numbers multiply so I can at least get one square number. What is there a square factor of 40? That's a short and accurate way of saying what I'm trying to say here. And 4 is a square factor. It's a factor and a square number. Anyway, hope you get the idea that this can turn into this and this can turn into that so square root of 4 is 2 square root of 10 just stays the same because you can't do anything with it so a short way of writing this is 2 root 10 again when I say root 10 I mean square root of 10 it's just me being lazy like maths people do get lazy we don't like writing time symbol symbols because it takes time to write it and uh, we say things for short often as well so instead of saying square root we just say root so square root of 10 becomes root 10 so anyway all of this becomes this and I'm going to further simplify this by multiplying the whole numbers together 3 times 2 here to make 6 and multiplying the square root together square root of 10 times square root of 10 which equals 10 because I'm basically by doing square root of 10 times square root of 10 I'm timesing it by itself which is a, which is squaring it so that's what it, I've, already, I've already explained this that this very simple example here of how this becomes 10 in the beginning of our examples so anyway this becomes 6 this becomes 10 so this times this is 6 times 10 which is 60 so square root of 90 times square root of 40 is equal to 60 by simplifying it through these stages I hope that all made sense there are much there are many more examples we can do, but this is just a quick introduction to serves. Thank you.